ladies and gentlemen. I hope you are having a fantastic day. If you're new to the channel, my name is Parker Nierenstein and this is Vehicle Virgins. Today we are rolling in the Huracan with Paul, Supercars of London, as my co-driver headed to Angeles Crest National Forest, which has some of the best roads in Southern California. But it's not gonna be just us two. Unfortunately, Sam died yesterday, so he's not joining us anymore. We are meeting up with another YouTuber by the name of Captain Sparkles. Now I know some of you might not know who Captain Sparkles is, yet he has over 10 million subscribers, but it turns out he's a genuine car guy despite the fact that he gained his fame doing Minecraft videos. So we're meeting up with him, and we're gonna see how his driving skills are. Let's roll. This is gonna be, this is gonna be sick. All right, see you two beauties later. Look at this navigation contraption that Paul has rigged up. It actually works pretty well. Some might say that I owned a hurricane. <laughs> we are eight minutes out now, meeting up with Jordan Marin at a gas station. I have never seen one on the road. I saw one the other week at Sunset GT at a car show, moving at five miles an hour, but there's something special about spotting one on the road instead of where you expect these cars at really high-end car shows. And for us to go on a sick drive with Angeles Crest, it's gonna be a good day. Yeah, I'd say that's legit. What do you think? <laughs> <laughs> that's flipping awesome. Jordan just rolled up in the Ford GT. We're both filling up because both of these cars don't really last more than a half a day of intense driving per tank. I'm pretty sure my car gets like eight miles per gallon. Look at those carbon wheels. Well, it's been a pleasure meeting you, Jordan. Yeah, I've got his same. link in the description below. Same. Probably gonna do the vlogging car related channel instead of the other one. Yeah, that works. That works. That's probably what people would be more interested in on, the, on your channel. Absolutely. How have you liked this so far? I mean, it's a dream car. It's pretty it's, cool. Um, so it's, it's very different than other cars I've been in. It is much more like a race car. All the sounds that you get in it, it's not obviously a high revving, naturally aspirated car, so you don't, you don't get that high pitch but uh, the sound doesn't disappoint. The V6 operates fine. You don't feel like it's a V6. It's yeah. not lacking for anything. I haven't gotten to go full out yet because I'm at 500 miles right now. The break-in's at 600, so we're one day shy of actually being able to go full out. So uh, I'll be short shifting, but still, even then, it doesn't feel like you're lacking for power under 5,000 revs. And I'm, I'm stoked for you. After three years, yeah. that you end up with something that you genuinely love and you're driving it. Thank you, sir. What's your zero to 60? Like 2.3. Jesus Christ. All I right. trade though. You, you down? Uh, <laughs> you down? Yeah. I don't know about that. All right, gentlemen, shall we do it. hit the road? Go ahead and fire Ellie up and uh, cry about the fact that the Ford GT is way freaking cooler. I gotta say, the roads out here are unbelievable. And the views too. That car is nuts. That car is absolutely nuts. Several tracks. It's a couple seconds faster than the 675 LT. That was the benchmark car for uh, the Ford GT. Three and a half liter twin turbocharged V6. There was a lot of controversy around the fact that it has a V6 because the last car had that American V8. But honestly, Ford wanted to have the availability of an EcoBoost engine in every single one of their cars, from an F-150 to an Expedition to a Ford GT, and they've proven that you can make a twin-turbo six-cylinder sound good, that Ford GT genuinely sounds awesome, and it makes 647 horsepower and 550 pound-feet of torque, and a top speed of 216 miles an hour. All right. Let's do oh, this. I guess let's go, uh, we're just gonna work our way down the same way that we came. All right, let the short shifts begin. There we go. So I've heard a lot of people say this is like a really raw car to drive. It really is. And that, that excites me. So how would you compare this to the 675? More fun to drive? Yeah, I mean, I, I haven't gotten to, to rip it as yeah, much as I course. did the 675 because I, I put like 4,500 miles or something on the 675 and uh -huh. took it to thermal. Um, so it was, I got more exercise, but so far just within the break-in period on this, like super happy with it. It's, uh, I mean, it's a great driving experience. The, the fact that it corners so- Yeah, this corner is ridiculous. Yeah, without any, any turn whatsoever or any pitch. Um, that alone makes me like think that as soon as we actually get it out onto the track, and yeah, normal, you're gonna freak. Yeah. For some reason, with this car, it just gives you so much confidence. Yeah. Even the second you jump in, because most cars, when I've owned, when I jumped into the 
first 458 that I had when I jumped into the 675 for the first time. Like, I definitely took some time to get used to it before I was fully comfortable kind of going more full out. Uh -huh. And this one, it's like, I, I got it, took it off the dealership after it was wrapped, and I was like, oh, I'm fully comfortable in this. That's amazing. So in front of me here with my feet, I've got this lovely kind of metal foot brace so I can yep. hold on for dear life as we're going around corners faster than you would think <laughs> is possible. But this is only the beginning of the 4GT's performance. Yeah, it really is. Um, I am, like I said, short shifting. Yeah, yeah. Because uh, tomorrow, tomorrow is when break-in ends. Nice. Because of this drive. So this has five different driving modes? Yeah, it goes uh, from one end of the spectrum is the VMAX mode, so that's, it drops the suspension like in all the GIFs that you see, yeah. except that it doesn't raise the rear wing, and that's so that you can aim to achieve 216 miles an hour. Uh, I don't know that I'll ever hit that, if I'm being honest, <laughs> but uh, it's a, a nifty thing that's there if you want it. Um, and then it goes from that to wet, gotcha. and then down to normal. Normal is what I'll use if I'm like sitting in traffic or something. Sure. Uh, then sport is what I'm in right now. And then on the other end of the spectrum is track, which is all the gifts that you see of the car dropping and the wing going up. Yeah. Um, so I think everyone's pretty familiar with what that one is. It's very easy to place the car on the road. Um, no issues with that at all, but it's also not like I'm trying to lug the steering wheel from side yeah, to side. Yeah, of course. So I think it's just in a nice fine-tuned area. They did a good job with it. I do love the uh, the shape of the wheel, though. Yeah, it's and really the, cool. It's going to sound funny, but it's like, look, in LA, even if you're going to a place where you're going to drive quick, you're going to end up in traffic. Yep. And so it operating compliantly at low speeds is actually yeah, kind that's of huge. important. That's huge. Yeah. And you can do this. It's the most comfortable traffic position <laughs> ever. There you go. It's great. All right, going to do some flyby runs now with the Huracan and the Ford GT. Paul's man in the camera. GT now so we can get some tracking shots of the rear of that absolute monster. I really want to watch the active air brake and wing uh, do its thing. up to that Ford GT, shall we? Ah, point of view drive behind a new GT. This is awesome. That thing looks crazy from the rear end. I haven't seen the wing actually activate yet, interestingly enough, in terms of assisting braking, but looking straight through those flying buttresses, Absolutely incredible first run. Look at these two cars next to each other. The fact that he's short shifting at 5,000 RPMs and still able to keep up shows how incredible that car is. So both of these cars have a lift system. The Huracan takes about eight seconds. It lifts the front of the car up a good amount. I have never really had an issue getting into a steep curbed area. Now the Ford GT has a ridiculous lift system that pops the car up and shoves it down almost instantly instantaneously and when he was pulling out of the gas station I'm not gonna lie I was pretty nervous that all of a sudden I'm like hey we just met yeah let's pull out this way and he destroys his entire front end of the carbon fiber piece but it was so high off the ground with that lift not a problem at all interesting the wing angle is pretty similar that's about the only similarity between the two cars here <laughs> but does yours have any hydraulics on it to tilt forward 
No. Beautiful rear diffuser. Look how aggressive and legitimate race car style rear diffuser fins there. Come around the side, these gorgeous carbon fiber wheels, carbon fiber side skirts. The mirror stocks are carbon fiber. There's carbon fiber in here around the front. This is ridiculous. So in efforts to prove that my Huracan is only three times worse than a Ford GT and not a hundred times worse, we're gonna go over some practicality elements. Decent size trunk space here to store Jordan's camera gear. Uh, the previous generation Ford GT had enough space to store an Apple and and I don't think this one's too much better. <laughs> oh my god. Three apples. That is, wow. that's okay. the boot space. That's it, yep. that's and all we got. you wanna have that toolkit in at all times, so it eats up half of it. Okay, yeah, nice. Back at the gas station to refill. Oh my gosh, was that an incredible experience riding in the Ford GT. I'm hoping that sometime in the near future, I might actually be able to review a Ford GT, but from the passenger seat, you can tell how raw it is and mostly how flat it corners. There is zero body roll in that car. I can't wait until he's fully broken this in and gets to punch it and experience all of its 647 horsepower. Well, Jordan, it was fantastic meeting you. That it was. Thank you so much for the ride in your Absolutely. beautiful new car. I'm, I'm like seriously stoked for you, seeing how excited you are with this truly remarkable piece of machinery. It's great, no, I can't wait to go to the track. <laughs> We have just gotten back to the house, dropping off the Lamborghini. Sam is actually, well, he's not dead, obviously, is hanging out with Alejandro right now. So I think we're gonna roll over and see what those guys are up to. Well, welcome to the vlog. What's Turns out you're on? not dead. I'm not dead. You're not dead. <laughs> <laughs> have you pet Tata yet? Uh, no, I'm scared. Okay, yeah, me too. I haven't, I haven't pet her either. Look at the, the car collection never, never gets old. It's like I mean, I mean it's, it's like the Geneva Auto Show. <laughs> what is up, man? Boom! What the? What is this? You got a? a you got a Hellcat? I got a, again a wide body Hellcat. You but you got one from the factory now. You you started this trend basically. But this is hang on. This is why it feels so amazing to be able to buy this car now because I wanted to make this and I totally failed at it with my <laughs> air suspension that was terrible. <laughs> And this is really good. This is a car that I really wanted. For those of you who have been watching his channel for a while, I remember when he had the Helgato. Yeah. That thing was bad. It's I'm around. Gonna... It's around? Yeah, it's around, dude. Some guy bought it around here and takes it to all these events. No way. For sure. Why, why this and not a demon? I think the demon is the biggest waste of money in the world. You don't think so? I, I made a video called Five Reasons Why I Hate the Dodge Demon, and one of them was that you could get this and tune it for $2, next to no money, and then boom, it's a demon. $2,000 yeah. and you get a thousand horsepower. Yeah. I'm sorry, the demon tires are not my thing. I like these. I like these wheels a lot. The wheels. These are, these are yeah. incredible. They're dope. And, and there's something about this simple white body black on black that looks just so mean. Congrats again on like Thank your you. 50th car, darn it. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. That 4 GT action was crazy. Alejandro's got another toy that he probably doesn't need, but they I'm they jealous of. You invited me to the 4 GT thing. I did invite you to it. it. <laughs> That's fake news. I actually invited him and he goes, mm, I just don't really want to do a drive right now. So. <laughs> Alejandro, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like always, please browse the channel and subscribe. Alejandro's a liar. Peace. Okay.